I grew up in Inner Bay, and then uh, I moved to Magnolia when I was in the fire department. That was my first house. That was like 1981. And then I was there for, what, 25, 30 years. And, and then I retired out of there and, and then moved around after that. I was a real good athlete at the University of Washington. I played sports. I was on the first women's basketball team. And I thought I could do everything a guy could do. And uh, what happened is I wasn't sure what I was going to do when I graduated. And my brother got a card in the mail that said, from the fire department, said women and minorities are encouraged to apply. So I did. But I didn't know there weren't any women. <laughs> so I was very young. I was 19. And I thought I could do anything. And uh, that was kind of the era, you know, women's lib. And, and what was the song? Um, women, you know, it was, uh, what's her face from Australia anyways? I am woman was blaring everywhere. So I, w I took that to heart and I thought I can do anything I want. Nobody can tell me I can't do it. It was a great team effort. It was very similar to playing sports because everything you did going to a fire was with other engines and working together and working as a team. And so it wasn't an individual uh, matter. It was really working together. And you got a lot of rewards for that. You tried to do a good job, save people, aid runs, uh, fire calls, all that. You felt like you were helping. I mean, you're always in, you know, you are in danger whether you know it or not. I and mean, they try to get you used to that when you go to recruit class. It's like army basic training. So you learn how to crawl around and smoke so you won't be afraid of that. You up on an area that's 100 feet so you're not afraid of heights. So they try to build in as much safety, but you never know what kind of building you're going to go in. You don't know if you're going to get a basement fire or you're going to be on a roof. So you have to kind of be good at your skills and then just kind of go with the flow. And if you're afraid, of course, you're not going to work very well. So kind of like com competitive in a, as an athlete, you know when you have to you know, put it on and do it right away or not. And that's kind of what fires are like. I think more so now and later. Uh, earlier on, it was pretty new. And of course, a lot of the firefighters and men thought, I'm just doing it on a lark, I'll never last. And I had, I had always had intentions of being there forever. So, um, and in the 80s, a lot of other women came in. So there was about a hundred of us out of a thousand. So, um, but, but now see, all those have retired. Or, or the numbers are back down again. And so I think we did make an impact because you could have little girls see us and people that weren't used to seeing women firefighters. So I think that made a big difference. Right, I, I felt like I had to because there was no other women, but I came in as a firefighter. I was on uh, engine 18 and engine 25. That was Capitol Hill. So I got real busy. I was promoted to lieutenant at, at engine 21, which is in Greenwood. Then I transferred to ladder eight to a little bit. So I was on a truck company. And then I went to engine six. I was there for a long time. That was on 23rd and Yesler. It was very busy. And I got to prove myself as a lieutenant. So I was there for about probably eight years. Then I became a captain and I went to engine 34 in Madison Park. And then after that, I went to an office job. I was the EEO officer for just a short time. And then I was promoted right after the Pang fire to chief. And I went as a battalion chief, I went to the South End in battalion five. I was there for about 11 years, and then I went to the North End Battalion 6, the University District, and I retired out of there. And I did, in the interim, I did act in charge of the city occasion for about nine months. See, I, I used to have rental houses. I worked on those. I did a lot of volunteering at various places. And since the pandemic, I haven't been doing much volunteering. I'm going to try to write a book. Um, we, my husband and I go down south to Palm Springs during the winter, so we kind of have a nice, we get out of our gloom and then just keeping busy, trying to keep active. Well, the Pang fire was really bad. That was a, especially, a, that was a change in the fire department on how we um, manage where our people are, uh, how we do tactics, um, just general safety. When I first came in, people were not all that up on safety. It was, you, do, you did a lot of things on your own, not in a team, nobody knew where you were. Um, that, but that was standard across the country. That's not just here. So I think the safety part of it has gotten a lot better. There are a few fires like when in, I went on fire on, on engine 25, I was by myself and I was above the fire and, and I um, didn't have a mask on. So it was like, uh oh. So I crawled to the window and took a breath and then got out of there. So there's, there's been times and I thought, okay, you're in too far. You're, you know, need to back out. So there's always times in others, in your careers that you're like, okay, that's enough. Get out of here. I had a really great career. I always thought that I would be in charge of the city someday. And I actually 
thought I could be the fire chief, but I was actually way ahead of my time. I was about 15 years ahead of my time when it comes right down to where women were and same is true for sports. I was Title IX had come in, but it didn't affect us yet at the University of Washington. So I missed that because I was a little before my time. I had no idea what I was going to accomplish. I just went, my, I had a very good work ethic. My dad worked for Boeing's. He never worked, missed work. I always was there. I always tried my best. I always tried to do a really good job. And, and you know, in the fire department, we, it's not just work. We have a lot of fun too. It's, it's a team effort. You can, have, you can be at a station with a really bunch of good people. Um, it's it really like another family. And so it's much different than other jobs. And, and um, I really enjoyed that. And yeah, there were some bad apples, yes. And I'll probably document who they were. But, but on the other hand, there was a lot of people that recognized you could do a good job.